Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use model.findbyid to search your database by underscore ID. So each time you save a, okay, when saving document, mongo.db automatically adds a underscore ID and set it to a unique alphanumeric key. Uh, searching by underscore ID is an extremely frequent operation, so Mongoose provides a dedicated method for it. Find the only person having a given ID, underscore ID, using model.findbyid, and then person. So we're going to be doing person.findbyid. Use the function argument person ID as the search key. Okay, so let's go back over to here. Now we've got all of these together, so if you're um, struggling with this, I recommend that you look through the old videos, but um, here we're just going to move on for, forward from here. Um, for our model, we're going to be using our person model, which we created up here. Um, we initialize the schema, we've got the person schema, and then we set the model of person to be that model with the name of person. And um, so we're good to use that. So person dot, and now we want to go find by ID, right? Find by ID. Um, and then in here we can just pass in, um, we're going to pass in two things. If we're going to say, well, let's see, find the only, okay, use, use the function argument person ID as the search key. So we're going to pass in an object and we're going to pass in, um, I think we should do person ID is equal to person ID, is that right? And then we're going to also have a um, callback function. And then within here, we're going to say, uh, we're gonna see if we have any errors. So error, and then we'll also see if we have a person, individual. I'm gonna say individual just because I think it's a little bit more explicit for this uh, specific exercise. Okay. And then, th because this is a callback function, we need to have what we're going to do in the meantime. Um, yeah, semicolon there. Now we want to move this done function within our find by ID. And um, once, you know, first off, we want to check for errors. So if there's an error, we want to uh, return because we don't want the um, find to run through. And we return, and we'll just log to the. the uh, um, to our console what that error was so we can see it if we have problems. Um, and if we're, if there, there is no error and we found the individual um, successfully, we'll just return the individual as that is what the done function uh, requests of us. Um, so I think that we should just make this ID actually. Um, and I'm not exactly sure about that. So let's um, stop the server and then run it and see if everything runs properly. This will tell us if there's any syntax errors. And it says that your app is listening on port 3000, perfectly fine. So if I come over here, what I wanna do is take my URL uh, that we're working with. You could test the URL by yourself as well, but we're using API calls, so it won't show up anywhere like that. That just shows you that it's working. And so we can enter that in here and run the tests. Okay, seems like I did something wrong. So it seems like I did something wrong. Let's go back to here and take a look at this person find by ID. Okay. Um, you know, come to think of it, we might not need to pass in an object here at all because we have such a specific um, code coming from there. I think if we were to search find by ID, You, all you have to do is pass in the ID. So here's a good example of what we're doing. Um, we just pass the ID here, and then we've got our fallback function. So yeah, we, all we need to do is just find by ID. So we're passing in the ID, the person ID. And um, let's stop the server and rerun it. And then head on back over to here and resubmit it. Finding an item by ID should succeed. ID should succeed. Person ID. 
person ID. Oh, there we go. Individual. I mistyped it here. Okay. Oh, here we go. That would have been shown here as well. Unhandled error. Individual is not defined. That would have told me the answer as well. So now we can run the tests again. And it looks like we're listening, which means our server is running properly. If we skip back over to here and we say replace, that means it's good. Okay, so um, before we go any further, let's just take a look at this. We could tighten this up by, instead of making that function, we can make it a arrow function. Uh, the same thing here. And the way that I've been running these, I think I actually skipped it by here, but, well, I've also been, you can call these functions like this and like this, and then um, like this as well. So it'd be smart to make them all the same way. And um, yeah, so for now, I'm just gonna start running them with this ES6. If I were to refactor this code back here, I would wanna make these ES6 functions as well. For example, and now how would that look? It would look like this. Um, we set this equal, oh no. We say this is equal to done, and then you go your arrow functions here. And we say var. And this would still pass all the tests. Um, so that's what I would do. Yeah, and so we've refactored here a little bit, person find one error. Uh, oh, no. Oh, and we want to get rid of this comment because this is just annoying. It's better to have just nice clean code uh, once you've worked through and you're kind of getting the right answers. Um, the commenting is unnecessary. Uh, if there was an error, return console log error, the individual. So yeah, I think that that's as good as we can get it. Um, I'll just rerun the server just to ensure that we've got it all running properly. And rerun the tests. Looks like we're good. So hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.